and regions of the lungs. So you can actually gen very gently pull these apart and count up one, two, and three lobes. And so normally they would be attached via connective tissue. So you, in the body, these would be attached together. And if we were looking at a left lung, we'd only be able to count up two actual lobes. That's so. how big one lung is? Hmm? That's how big one lung is? Well, so this is from one individual. Is that good? Yep. Kay. This is from a different individual, but it's also a right lung. So there's quite considerable size difference between different individuals, depending on the size of the person and also the fitness of that person. Somebody that swims a lot is going to have larger lungs than somebody who's sedentary. <laughs> what about this, a cigarette smoker? These are prob this is probably, both of these were probably cigarette smokers because you can see a lot of black speckles. Oh my on gosh. So another reason, or maybe another sign not to smoke. Right. Um, but I can count one to three lobes on this one, so this must be a right one as well. The trachea is right here, so this would be the trachea, and you can see those rings of tracheal cartilage quite easily on here. And when you get a chance, you'll be able to see how um, stiff that is, actually, how much structure it provides to the trachea. And then it branches into the two bronchia, one, uh, right and left primary bronchus, and that'll further divide once it enters into the lung. You can see blood vessels as well, that's what these are. These are blood vessels bringing that blood to and from uh, the lung. So air comes in through the trachea, the blood comes in through these blood vessels, and these will break apart into a capillary network that surrounds the alveoli. So there's millions of alveoli within the structure of the lung. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, left lung? No. No. That's the no. trachea. That's, trachea. Yeah. Oh, too small. That's the cartilage, isn't it? Um, yep, we've got some cartilage on here, but what's this look like? The tongue. This is a Oh tongue. my gosh. So. Oh, so no. <laughs> <laughs> so this would actually be the tongue. Shoot. The trachea is down here. Okay. Last and lung, what was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a flat of cartilage. What is this piece right here? Um, is that the thing that closes? The thing, what is the thing called? Um, the epiglottis. Epiglottis. Epi 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 yes. mm -hmm. So this is that epiglottis that closes off the uh, windpipe when you're eating. And you can actually, if you look down through the hole, you can see the vocal cords. Oh, I do see. Mm. Cool. Here you know. <laughs> <laughs> this, this actually is a very nice piece because you can also see those tracheal rings. Mm -hmm. That's a big tongue. It's it is. Big. And so when you think about the tongue, you're only really, when you stick your tongue out and look in the mirror, you're only looking at the very anterior portion. But that tongue goes all the way back into your uh, throat. Wow. Kind of cow one. The cow one's even bigger. <laughs> the, uh, the, the cartilage that you're seeing right here would be the thyroid cartilage. <laughs> the thyroid cartilage right in there. So take a few minutes, put your gloves on and explore the tissues. And then take off your gloves medically and wash your hands. And can we ex expect a few test questions? Definitely. Mm -hmm. So this was only one side of that's the lung? Right, that's all right. That's all right. So the lungs are really big. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How does it feel, Mitchell? Is it hard? Squishy. Squishy. Yeah, wow. Anyway, I'm sorry. No, I'm about to.